the Mike James situation is probably difficult because right now he's still on a contract with the payroll. I think from you know the Sky a little bit, right? The payroll, both Sky and Monaco. So you could pays. imagine f- for him to stay. Okay, one thing you tick the box: Monaco will be in the Euroleague. That's that's very important. Mike James seems to be quite happy there. Uh-huh. These are good things, but do you know his pinned? Tweet on his Twitter account. No discounts. No discounts on my and services. That's the issue. There won't be any discounts. And now, if you have to cover his full payroll, what are we talking about? And Two million euros. Why Mike should take any discounts after the season where he, he was shouldn't. in a MVP race shouldn't. and where he put his team on the game? There will be uh, interesting five. moves on the market. For example, if Shane Larkin is moving and the Colo is moving, a lot of players, guards are moving, switching teams. Mike James could have great offers, so definitely he's not going to do any discounts. I, I would like him to stay in Monaco. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like a good fit, yeah. at least for now. It's, it's hard to understand his priorities right now because even in Joe Orlowska's uh, podcast, uh, he said that he has like one, two years left. So I, I, I mean, just hate hearing all these talks. For example, Kyle Hines talking about Otello retirement. Hunter, Otello Otello Hunter Hunter retirement. Guys, Mike it. James, ah, I'm going to retire. I'm being selfish, obviously, because I love watching them compete. Yeah. For them, it's and we don't know what they're going through. It's you different. know, different if they don't yeah. have anything to prove. They already feel sorted and happy, and and they want to live life. Yeah. Or they, yeah, or they're just tired outside of everything. Outside of basketball, so it's fine. But watching them play, it's it's unfair if these guys are going to retire. A lot of depends on Monaco as well and they their financial capabilities. Uh, it, from what I've heard, they will increase their budget. But different from what was reported on Eurohoops, at least as far as I heard. I mean, Eurohoops reported that they might increase their budget for salaries only uh, yeah. up to 18 million euros, which yeah. would make them like top five, top six team in the Euroleague. But from what I've heard, it's it's not true. And at the best case scenario, the total budget should be around 18 million euros. And considering that some tax uh, moments, let's say tax uh, nuances, Mm, the payroll would increase somewhere up to eight million euros. So it's you know it's not it's nothing s- significant, let's say, especially when you have to keep not only Mike James but for example Alpha Diallo who uh, Diallo who is making like uh, one hundred one hundred and sixty thousand euros. He's underpaid. He is underpaid. Course, underpaid one of the most for, underpaid players. For what he delivers, he's yeah. And if, so if, if they want to keep, I mean. Donta Hall or Donatos Matunas, one of them should stay. They will have to pay because uh, there's no way that Matunas will <laughs> decrease his financial um, demands less than 500,000 euros or Donta Hall. I mean, he was signed for also not not a lot of money. So there are a lot of players that if they will have, if they want to have any kind of continuity, they will have to increase their payroll just to keep the players. And I'm not even talking about some other adjustment uh, signings. 